Imagine this is a button. Whenever you press this, you get one dollars. But there's a 0.1 percent chance that you lose ten thousand dollars. Now, will you press this? If we do some calculations, the expected return is minus one dollars. So, you would lose out in the long run if you keep pressing the button. Now, imagine the opposite, where if you press the button, you will lose one dollars. But there's a very small chance that you will get ten thousand dollars. Now, will you press this button? And the expected return is the opposite. That is, you will be at a net positive of nine dollars. So where am I going with this? Imagine a scenario: you're getting late to work, or you're getting late to that meeting, or you have to meet somebody, and then you are rushing through traffic on your car. You make sharp turns, you speed through, and you try to save those minutes so you're not late to that meeting. Now, take this as a situation where you are pressing this button and gaining one dollar. Instead of this one dollar, it's time saved. But there's a very small chance that you might get a speeding ticket, or even worse, you might get into an accident and injure yourself, or even worse than this, you might get into an accident with another car and injure multiple people involved. So if you think about it, the net would always be negative because even if you save five minutes, ten minutes every time when you speed, there's a risk of getting the fine, which is a monetary loss, which is minor. But there's a greater risk of losing lives. The opposite is also true. Imagine figuratively pressing this button and losing one dollar. So this could be something else. You're investing time in yourself, or you're investing in a company, or trying to start a business. Investing that small amount, even though the chance of success is very low, if the success is disproportionate, it might be worth taking that risk and, you know, figuratively pressing that button and spending that effort into it. So where am I getting with all this? So we humans pay a lot of attention to the probabilities than the outcomes. If the outcomes lead to total ruin, or if the outcomes lead to total flourishment, it is worth looking at the outcomes, not just the probabilities. So the small investments we make on ourselves, we might not see their results immediately, but they might lead to such outstanding results that it would be the worth time spent into, you know, building those habits up. You can learn more about how I build my habits over here. Thank you.